Now, exchange rate is a very important part of your business and you need to know how to set up your exchange rate and update the exchange rate. Now, at times, when you install QuickBooks for the first time, this is very important so that when you're setting up another company and you, you are not seeing exchange rates and you may, not, you may think that the setup is wrong and all that, this is how to activate your exchange rate on the system. Now, before you start using exchange rate, the first thing you need to do is you go to edit, you go to preference, when you go to preference, then you see manage currency, multiple currencies. Under multiple currencies, you select company preference. Now, if you have not activated exchange rates, multiple the, currencies. yes, multiple currencies there. When you click multiple currency, then you select company preference. It's the next one. Now, but because we have already set up our exchange rates, that's why the system is saying your home currency is the Nigerian Naira. Assuming you don't have exchange rate on the system, it will tell you that to ask you whether you want to use one currency or you want to use multiple currency then you select the second option which says yes i use multiple currency when you select that it will ask you to select your own home currency that's why we selected our nigerian naira once you're done you click ok system will close the file and reopen again that means it has activated your multiple currency after that the next thing you now need to do is you need to know where to find the currencies for all the transactions that you do. Now, to find the currencies, you go to company, you see manage currencies. When you click manage currency, you select currency list. I already said it yesterday that if your home currency is in dollars, euro, or pounds, the system will download the exchange rate automatically for you. The reason is that exchange rate in these countries is relatively stable. You understand you don't have to be there's, the, there's nothing like official or black market trades so it's one exchange rate but in another country where you have multiple exchange rates like Nigeria you have the option of adding your own exchange rates so when you come here so first thing is you close this when you're done you close this then you come to company manage currencies and all that so when you're when you go to manage currency, you click currency list. So this currency list will now show you a list of all the currencies that you have. Now, if you want to update the US dollar, you trace the US dollar. You come down, you. This is US dollar here. Double click on this US dollar. This is where you update your exchange rate on a daily basis. Either on a daily, weekly, or any time you need to update your exchange rate. So to update your exchange rate, you select the date. Today is 5th. You select 5th. Once our exchange rate is at 5th, if it's 3.05, you enter 3.05 here. Tomorrow, if you want to update your exchange rate, you come to the same window, you select 6th. Once the exchange rate is at 6th, if it's 3.05, you enter 3.05. If it has changed to 3.07, you enter 3.07. Now, the implication of this is that as you are updating this exchange rate every day, the system will be multiplying the rate against the US dollar value, which you use to report in your own home currency. So this is where you update your exchange rates. And updating your exchange rate, like I said, give rise to exchange rates loss or profits. So if you're done with this, you click OK. So any transaction you enter today in dollars will be multiplied by 305. To report in Naira. Anyone you enter tomorrow will be multiplied by 307, which is the exchange rate. So as you update it, that's how the rate will be changing. Now that so you can see US dollar 305. If I double click on this to take me back to the window, this is 305. Tomorrow, if I come down, my exchange rate will be 307. So if I want to update more, you just click inside, mm -hmm. select the date. Mm -hmm. Then here you enter the exchange rate. If it's 310, you enter 310. The next day, that's how you'll be updating the exchange rate on a daily basis. Then you click OK. So any transaction is 305. Now tomorrow, if you come back now, you check it, it's now 306. So that's how the exchange rate changes every day. And it also affects your balance sheet figure. Affects your balance sheet figure. So especially those dollar balances. These are PL. Uh, let me open the balance sheet. I'll come to the balance sheet here now. Okay.
can see it affects your balance sheet and all that. By the time we get it tomorrow now, where it will change, it, you will see it there. So you can see from here, this is the report, realized gain and unrealized gain or loss. So this is where the system will pick that. And this comes in as a result of changes in your exchange rates. But if you look at this, we've not done any foreign transaction. Like we are only doing setup, so this will be zero. But then we start doing foreign transaction, you will see how it will affect this particular report here. So this is very, very important. So all this now as a result of changes in your exchange rates. So that. realize what which one is unrealized uh, none? Hmm? Yeah, it's unrealized. like let's say only only realize basically it's like the changes in the value of your bank accounts. You understand? Unrealized. You are yet to realize it. That means you've not withdrew the money. Okay. It's not with you physically. It's like saying paper profit. You understand? You're only making profit on paper. Okay, let's assume you invested in a company like shares now. Mm -hmm. And you buy you bought the company when it was ten naira. When the price increased to five naira, you made a profit. Or, sorry, increased to fifteen naira. You made a profit of five naira. That five naira is still unrealized, like a paper profit, because you have not realized it. When you now sell that shares and collect the money, you understand? That's where it becomes realized. You've earned the money. And all. So that unrealized is like it's still the paper. It's not really an actual profit. So that's what happened in that unrealized gain. It's only changing. Tomorrow it could change. To go up and come down, but when you now withdraw from that account, it becomes realized, meaning you have actually earned that money. So, what effect has unrealized? When will, do you report the unrealized uh, gain? Or loss? Unrealized gain or loss basically is, like I said, it's changes in the value mm -hmm. of your bank balances and all that, and it goes to your P &L then like account. Then realized also. Uh, realized basically, look at the way it works. Realize hits your bank. Okay. You understand? Okay. It hits your bank accounts okay. because you've actually earned the money. So it's like you're receiving the money. You understand? So it, while it's hitting your bank, it's also yeah. which means it, it, you have actually earned that money. Yeah. Do you get it? So that's the realized. Well, we were saying that the realized is the as an exchange rates cause gain. Mm. Um, it's also realized. realized. No exchange rates. Gain or loss uh -huh. uh, can be realized or unrealized. But it's hitting your bank immediately now because it's money that is in your bank and lost. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what I mean is that, you know, when I say I have $100 uh -huh. in my account, and at that point, $1 is 154 naira. If $1 increase to, like, let's say, 160 uh -huh. I have earned 6 naira. You understand? Now that six naira is an unrealized gain. Why? That's why the reason it's unrealized is because it's still subject to that exchange okay, rate. Okay. It can go up, it can come down. But the moment I go to my bank and I say I want to withdraw my money, if tomorrow exchange rate falls, okay. it doesn't affect me again. Do you understand? So it doesn't affect. I've already made the gain. So that's why you have you are yet to realize the money. As I say it's an unrealized gain. Okay. Because tomorrow it could co come down. You have to realize it. So it's a gain, but a gain that you are not really holding physically. You can go to your bank now, your bank will tell you, ah, dollar has fell again. No? But the moment you go to your bank to withdraw it, and, that, and you are now with it, even though dollar falls, mm -hmm. you, you own it. It's not affecting it. Mm -hmm. And all that. And that's not our conclusion. Any other question? Thank you.